Hey, hello everybody. I'm back. I've been tinkering again and I got something I'm excited to share with you all. So, um, it's a development that came about from my outdoor cooking system that uh, maybe you've seen in my other videos. I had built this stove um, over the course of the last few months and it had sort of come together and I had some things I was really excited about. The windows, um, the front door, batch loading configuration, and the ability to cook over the rocket stove and really control um, the heat with the damper. Those were things I wanted to I wanted to share with people, but of course it was really difficult to show you how to build that. So I'm just going to let these photos roll and they're going to speak for themselves for the most part. Um, I came up with this half barrel mold idea, both for the firebox and for the um, mass. For the firebox, it's just great. It allows you to insulate. It allows a place to mount the windows if you want to do that. Um, it makes construction really easy and, you, and really importantly for me it allows that horizontal batch load configuration. So between those two half barrels there is a solid wall. They both still have their bottoms there. Um, there's the internal riser. Um, I build a wooden mold and I just use some wire to kind of, the boards are sort of stapled together and then wire to hold it against the pressure. Um, test to fit, get the heights right, and then I cut the other barrel um, for the exhaust path where the um, when the big barrel fits over that riser the exhaust gases will drop down into the second half of the barrel right there and then a hole for the exhaust. Um, you know I, I built this one to work as a bell so that exhaust is really close um, to the exit of the gases from the riser but I pushed the exhaust pipe down in there and that allowed me to extend it into another bench. So the, the barrels are great. They're free. They're easy to work with. I cut these with a jigsaw. Um, the shape is strong. You could do low mass designs. Here I've just got the clay uh, mixed with perlite and a little bit of straw. Um, filling the riser and insulating around the barrel. I did test this out first so you'll see that I, I break it apart again. Um, but I'm really excited to share this with you guys. I think this is something that a lot of people can grasp and, and really easily build. Um, here I am burning the paint off. It just lit right up right away and worked out of the gate. So you want to build that little saddle before you build the riser. I didn't. You can see it sagged there. Um, so build that lower part first, the platform, but let it harden, then do your riser. Um, and so then I took that up to the to its final location. I cut windows in there. Those windows are just, I just cut the holes into the barrel and then bent little tabs in the barrel to hold the windows inside the barrel. Didn't really matter um, what the final finish looked like, I didn't think, because my plan was to cover it with cob. Um, and that really held true. So don't worry too much about the fab work there. I kind of had to bang on things with a hammer to get it to fit, um, but they work great. It's a real easy solution compared to what I was doing before. So. This supports the ceiling of the burn chamber, holds the windows, um, and really works great. So this one's inefficient. It's like a big campfire. Um, you can build smaller ones. You can build them with more insulation, less windows. Uh, but this is really nice. Windows on both sides, and I eventually put a door on it here. So now I've got like, more perlite and clay insulating the firebox. That insulation is important for these things to perform correctly. Um, it really helps the, um, the burn stay hot and really get some rocketing. So um, as you can see I'm building it up, sealing up underneath the barrel and um, you know one of the things that I really like about this idea is it goes really fast. So here I am starting to piece these barrels together to form the mass. I didn't get enough pictures because I was all muddy. <laughs> Sorry. But I just interfaced them on the end you know where they make those 90 degrees. Um, I even just made big loose flaps where they could butt end to end I cut this hole like that and left that strap together um, but the connections can be pretty loose that's just a demonstration photo to show you the inside of them of the other one as well and then I just fit them together and use clay to seal that seal and it, it works fine so um, that's the, the the barrel the half barrel idea I think it's uh, got a lot of potential you can build a low mass bench, you can build a high mass bench, you can put the flue um, exit flue at the end of the run and make it like a traditional rocket mass heater, or you can stick it down the 
in this case, the exhaust pipe is stuck down deeper, and so it acts like a bell, and it actually just pushes heat out into that bench leg. And it works really well. We had that thing steam in the first night. So that's great. Now, another thing about this that I'm really excited about is the cooking aspect. So I built a small one. That's a 15-gallon drum. Um, and this one I just insulated the, the heck out of and didn't put windows in. It still batch loads from the front, but that allowed me to build these two, to have these two places. One, the big one, I can cook on it either way, um, or with the little one if I need to. Now the neat thing about these is cookers is by putting that hole in the top of the barrel and putting an adjustable baffle on there, you can use the heat you need to cook and then you can capture the heat you don't use. And so for people who are taking these to um, other countries for humanitarian applications, I really would encourage you guys to think about this because it would allow people to get the smoky part of the burn out of the house, push a lot of the heat out of the house, but still cook over an open flame. You can put anything on top of this barrel. I've been using a barbecue with a hole cut in the bottom, a cast iron griddle, um, a, uh, a big pot of water, you know, um, cast iron pan. Um, I'd like to build a small masonry oven that fits on top of there's a modular system. But there you go, infinitely adjustable, um, easy to make. We just got rid of almost all the materials in the traditional rocket mass heater that cost money. So uh, there you go, enjoy it. Um, I'd love to hear your ideas on this. I'm really excited. This system came together in just a few days. It builds really quickly and you don't need much clay. So um, have fun.